let's start working with the graphic design of our apps. So I'm here on my app editing page and when I'm ready to do my graphic design I need to go to tab number two called style. I'll click on that and you can change the name of your app here or you can upload an image. If you click on upload an image you'll see that you have two different image sizes and one is going to be for Apple and Android apps and one's going to be for Windows Phone. Windows Phone for some reason always has a different pixel ratio than Apple and Android normally do. So once you have your app header image ready to go and let's say you've got a 320 by 44 pixel image you just click browse find it on your computer and upload it and there you go. We're going to close out of this We'll go back to text. I'm just going to leave mine as text for right now. Now, when you start working with the graphic design on your apps, you've got a couple of different options here. You can customize all this, so don't worry about if you think this is going to be limited. But they do have some options for you if you don't want to worry about the graphic design so much. You can just take a couple easy steps, and it'll give you a nice color scheme for your app. So first is theme. Essentially, you've got a dark theme and a light theme. And I can choose a dark theme, and you see that changes a little bit. And here's a light theme. Strangely enough, the light theme right now is a little bit darker than the dark theme. But again, all of this can be changed, so let's start going through the process of doing that. Next is your background image. And they've given you a dozen or so images that you can use for your background. And you can change that to whatever background image template you want from this selection. So this will be in the background behind everything else, behind all of your app components. If you have YouTube videos, the YouTube videos will show up over the top of this background image. And you can also upload a custom background. So it's going to tell you here that you've got three different options here again. And for iPhone and Android, it's 320 by 480. Again, Windows Phone is going to be different. Just like I said before, the Windows Phone seems to always be different. And then for the iPad, you have a different image size again, which makes sense because that's a tablet. Let's go ahead and just enter our iPhone and Android background image. I'll click Browse. I'll go find my image. And the image I'm going to use here is number 24. So I'm going to upload that. And since my image was a little bit bigger than the recommended size, the proportions are the same, but the image is bigger. I'm going to get this cropping tool. And I'm just going to drag that up to the corner, drag it all the way across the image, and we're set to go. I'll click Save, and now our image is up there. Now, if you know you're going to publish to the Apple App Store and Android, and you think you want to do Windows Phone, you can certainly upload this later, but you're just going to have to make a different image for each one. And let's take a look at what happens when I do Windows Phone. If I try to use the same size image as I did, for iPhone and Android, you're going to see that I can't get all of the image in there. So I could do something like this and just drag it up to the top and get my background image. It would then cut off this bottom part here. But if you don't really care much about that, that'll work just fine too. And we'll click Save. Now we're done uploading our background images, so I'll click Close. And then let's work with navigation. I'm going to go back to my home screen. And I'm going to click Navigation, and you see I've got sort of a gallery navigation, and that's this guy right here on the right. But I could also put Navigation on the bottom, and then whatever I have first is going to be sort of my app home screen. So in this case, my blog was the first thing I put in here. So that's going to be my app home screen. Everything else is going to show up at the bottom, and then you've got a More button where all of your other items will show up. And you can do the same thing by moving these to the top. You can have your navigation up here. You can also do a navigation straight down the middle. And this is actually kind of nice, especially if you're going to use this as a mobile website, because this design view actually allows you to have longer names. So I could say services offered today here, and it would show up all in here. But if I go to the gallery view, you see it's going to cut that off. So if you have longer names or you want longer names for your app components, this is a great way to do it. And this is a nice way to set it up for a mobile website. Very easy for the user to understand where they need to go. And using today's standards, it looks a little bit less like a mobile app and a little bit more like a mobile website. So I'm going to leave my navigation as the list navigation here. And when we come back, we'll talk about setting colors for your app and what all the different color variations do.